champion Troy Corser with us. Troy, you've learned a new track today. Was it difficult to learn compared to other tracks you've had to learn, or was it pretty much same same? Uh, to be honest, it's not super hard to learn the track, the perimeter track for sure. Um, I think you know, the the transition corner and the and that chicane that it runs into is probably the most difficult part on the track for us. Uh, but other than that, the corners all feel much the same sort of shape and radius and. The grip's all pretty good there, and uh, all the other bikes are using the track as well. So, yeah, it's not hasn't been too difficult to find find the fast line. Word on the street is that the grip here is actually pretty good, better than a lot of tracks. Did you find that to be so? Yeah, in the past, uh, we've always found the Pirellis have been good for about sort of uh, eight, nine, ten laps, and then they they sort of drop off. Uh, here, we seem to be getting a bit more laps out of them, but the grip's actually really, really good. And we've actually got a bit too much grip. We're wearing out the tyres a bit too fast, I think. So, uh, but that's just to do with setup on the bike. But um, no, I couldn't complain about the grip. And uh, as for how flat the the surface is, it's one of the flattest tracks I've raced on for a long time. So uh, I can count about four or five bumps around the place that I'm actually hitting. And normally have four or five in each corner at some of the tracks we go to. So uh, no, really, really nice to ride around. What about the altitude? Are you finding you twist the throttle and nothing happens? Bike's probably got about ten percent less power I reckon um, up the top you don't really feel it too much because you're, you're flat out and under the screen but definitely acceleration you know, second gear third gear corners which we're using here we can definitely feel less power um, but that's just due to altitude and uh, even yourself when you're riding around you can feel that the air's thinner when you're riding and stuff so no, it's, it's to be expected really being so high up now, with things like gearing and you got to figure all this stuff out, you've never been here before, did you have a, an order in which you were going to attack things like gearing first, engine management second, tires third? Yeah, to be honest, uh, we've actually used the AMA guys, a um, bit of information from them. Um, you know, it's the same bike pretty much and I'm pretty sure Ducati and Suzuki and all of them have pretty much got, just have a basic idea of where to start. We have changed the gearbox internally, not externally, a little bit for tomorrow. Um, I'm actually using first gear in one of the corners and the American guy said I don't use first gear at all around this track, but I just feel more comfortable using first at the hairpin and it just gives me a bit better, better line basically for myself. But um, yeah, it definitely helps having those guys here and you know, our team help the AMA guys when we're not here even uh, with some information and uh, support. So it's been good to uh, have them guys here just to bounce some back and and have pretty much a, a reasonable starting position and um, uh, each rider's obviously got their own gear selection pattern and uh, suspension setting and stuff so um, it's been a big help. Well thanks for taking some time and letting us into your world and good luck tomorrow. Yeah thanks, it uh, should be a good weekend I think. Welcome back to America. Yeah it's good to be home, it's, uh, I feel like it hasn't been that long since we've been here but it's been a lot of years and uh, that's great facility, you know, it's, uh, hats off to the organisers here and to Miller and, Everybody involved, the backdrop of the place is fantastic. So uh, there's not too many places where we can ride around in you know, 75 degree heat and we've got mountains with snow hang off the top of them. So, uh, so it's really nice to be here. All right, well, thanks and good luck tomorrow. Yeah, cheers. Troy, you're sniffing the wind. We can smell. We we could. You were sniffing his tailpipe. You were pretty much hunting him down in the last part of that race. It felt like if you had a few more laps, you'd have been on the top step of the podium. Well, yeah, not really. Yeah, I think uh, when you're in that position, when you're leading, you've got a bit of a gap. You can take it a little bit easy and, and slow down a little bit, half a second a lap, and know that you still got a bit in the bag there. But uh, I sort of missed the, missed the start really. I sort of lost a bit too much ground there. Had to make my way through and make some pretty aggressive passing, but. Uh, the bike's working great for me and I'm glad I could I could ride the bike like I wanted to and you know, the tyres stayed pretty consistent. I think all of us pretty much were sliding around a bit about half race distance. But uh, no, we'll go for the second race and see if we can win that one. We hope so. That's what we're all cheering for here in America. Yeah, you know, it's, uh, I haven't won on this Yamaha yet and uh, you know, I've been on the podium a few times and I'd really like to get my first win here in the US in front of all my supporters here and, uh, and for the team. Congratulations on the podium. Cheers, mate. Inside you're tearing 